Morning guys, it's Wednesday the 8th of March, we're waiting for Mr Romain to come um, to GM. So for workshop wise, what's happening today, um, we've got Ollie Miller's R35 GTR that's going on the hub dyno. Jan's going to check one of his uh, cooling pressure sensors, that's a bit iffy. Uh, he's going to sort that by replacing the sensor or checking the settings. He's then going to put some pump fuel in that car, sorry he's going to remove pump fuel and put ethanol in. And I can't remember what Ollie did last time, but he wants a little bit more power. So we're going to push the car a little bit harder today on the hub dyno. Um, Jimmy is working on Nathan's car. Uh, Nathan's come in for more power. It's the car that featured on CarWow against the SF90. I don't know if you'll probably get that link put in there or little clips. If my uh, special guy who does all my videos can sort that for me. Callum, get it done on the back there. Um, what else? We've got Kyle working on Warren's car. He's at the stage where he's going to be fitting the intercooler and the dry sump and then the diff and then the engine will be going in. We've got Scotty on Caroline's R8. He's obviously, it's a big job so he's progressing that daily. We've got Dean on the time attack car today and he's having a quick look at a GTR fuel pump that has an issue as well. Um, so that's his job today. Jan, I've already explained what he's doing, he's also prepping the pulsar. Matty is at college. Ben is off today. Um, have I missed anyone? I don't think I have. And Dale's obviously doing prep with cars. <clears throat> Haggy's in the office, just behind us there. He's doing emails and Chris, I'm going to turn over to Chris in a second and he's going to explain what the, he's doing on the dyno. Um, what am I doing? I'm just planning stuff, ordering stuff, buying parts, talking to customers, responding to all you guys' messages on Facebook and Instagram, doing posts. Um, my little boy's finishing early today so I've got to bring him back to the office so you'll probably see, see him later on the day as well. Um, yeah, so we're just really, really busy and let's go and see Chris. So Chris, um, obviously it was a very busy day yesterday, we'll yeah. see you were late. Yeah. What's the plans for you today then? So, stayed last night and got the hub dyno set up with a Supra on. I've got a guy called Mohammed's Supra, first time I've seen it. Uh, it's been built elsewhere, stock motor, turbo, carbons, and it runs a Cybex. He's changed the fuel system and wants it retuned. So that's the first job, we're just waiting on Romain, like you say. Um, whilst he's doing that, Jan's getting all these prepped, ready to go on the hub dyno next. We've then got Project Tango V2. Hamid's asked if we can do it later on today because he's busy this morning. He would like to be here to watch when it's getting done, so we're waiting on him. Um, TTRS took it home last night, drives really nice. Going to do a little bit of drivability with Romaine, check a couple of things. Um, and then apart from that, really, it's just that's about it. We've got a few sort of settings to settle on on different cars. Two can need to settle on the. On so the TTRS. are you saying you've got an easy day today? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that I'm is actually do, yeah. an easier day, but it's actually well, it's a very not, hard that's day. the thing. It sounds like not a lot of work, but there's a hell of a lot of ah. work in there. That's the thing, and you know, you know, so you know, well enough. But yeah, it's it's this lot, super, well, we've never seen it. Obviously, hopefully, that's just dead straight. And what's happening with that Subaru as well? I believe so, there was an issue yeah, with that. Jonathan James is in Pretza. Uh, he's got his own garage. He's built it himself. It's on Haltech. He brought it to us to get it up and running on the on a base map, and then he wants to run it in. Um, we've done that. It now runs. However, we've found it's got like vacuum leaks or boost leaks, um, air leaks. The, plenum's, the plenum, yeah. plenum's not sealing correctly where they put the plenum on. We we'll haven't investigated. Unfortunately, we really haven't got the time to kind of get it straight in. So it's got to go back in and get it So they're going to have to get it back, back fix yeah. their little issues, and then come back and finish the, the base map for it. Um, yeah, just, you know, lots to do. Like I say, I mean, it doesn't sound like an awful lot of cars, but obviously the, the two of them are particularly big cars. Um, the Super we've never seen before. We don't know if we're going to run into any issues. Obviously, hopefully not. Yeah, so it's going to be one of the busy ones. Romain's only here. He's got to get his train home again tonight. Is there any chance you can so. squeeze my Lambo out on that day? Or is it my I'd love to try, mate. Heels? I'm dying to try your Lambo out. Yeah, so um, Lambo's back healed again. Lambo's so far back healed. I mean, I think the lad said it was snowing again just yeah. a second ago. Yeah, so it is what it is. I'm Lambo used to it, Thorry. Yeah, I mean, the car's done, isn't it? Yeah, it's just the drivability it. side of it. And... Jürgen's not upset, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. This happens. It's not like you have another car to play. That's it, exactly. <laughs> so, that's it. Let's race for Romain. Let's see how the day goes. Yeah. Morning, Haggy. You alright, buddy? Morning. You alright? How's so, it going? Good, good. So yesterday you were uh, spending a lot of time, with, a Sean. time with Sean. Yeah. On his uh, Evo 9, yeah? Came in here with the car. Um, obviously, as you can see on uh, the internet, like, the pictures don't do it justice. The car's perfect. Uh, he came and viewed it and he's over the moon with it. Um, so all thumbs up on that one. So how does people import so, cars via the Haggy? Yeah, uh, if you're after an import, 
uh, my usual email address, which is sales at gm-imports.co.uk. And like I say, on a few vehicles at the minute, it's worthwhile buying, because they are only going up, especially that Evo out there, which I'm surprised still hasn't sold. That's a black Evo 9. Yeah, it is indeed. Which is mint, isn't it? I mean, it's what about the white M5 that you highly yeah. like as well? Is that another rare, one? I asked for the one which, um, you know, I'm surprised hasn't sold. Um, it's quite a rare colour, as a lot of the BMW enthusiasts know. Um, so if you, if you know, after one of them, hit hang you up. Yeah. So just a quick one, I'm with Jimmy. He's just popped into the office just to check some stuff. Um, Jimmy's the guy who's been building Project Tango with obviously Dean, but he's built the engine. Obviously he's very passionate about the car. Um, we had an issue last time with a pump. So I'm just gonna grab him because it's going on the day and see how he's feeling about it today. So Jimmy, good morning. How are you uh, feeling? Warmer, because it's nice and warm in here. Um, <laughs> no, it's um, all good. Uh, just prep remains here. Um, so it's always busy. You know, everyone runs around, everyone mucks in. Um, so he's on the dyno now. Uh, Tango will be ready very, very shortly for that to then go back on the dyno. Uh, I've got a fuel pump now that's replaced. Uh, all is sounding well, so we should have some really impressive numbers. Yeah, nervous? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things. I mean, it's. We well, know the quality is good. Yeah, I mean, the works ner good. nerves are kind of like, you know, good nerves. If, if you weren't nervous, you wouldn't care, and I do yeah. care. Like, it's more of a nervous because you, know, you want to get that result, don't you? Yeah, well, it's it's the result, but it's 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 obviously we're delivering a really really high end car and a really really high specification car to a very good customer. So customer service is really important. Um, my reputation and the passion that I've put into it, it's it's always nice to see those results, um, which is something I always I always thrive on uh, and look for. So to to physically see the end result. Um, you know, we aim for the numbers, which you know, there's there's no reason why we can't. Um, as I say, last time we did fifteen hundred horse at two and a half bar on the hubs as well, and that was on that was at the hubs. Um, the pump field, which which cut that short, which is you know, it's one of those things that can happen, and obviously did. Uh, so we now have a new pump that's in. Uh, Dean's worked very hard to get the car back turned round, prepped and ready. Uh, I'm just doing the last few bits and pieces and then onto the hubs. Yeah. So, while well, we've got that, the man himself, Dean, has come. You feeling confident this time round with Tango? Oh, I was the first time. <laughs> yeah, there you go, you see. We have confidence, but this just shows your parts just fail and break, and it is what it is. But for now, I'm going to let you go, and then Chris will take over for the dino stuff. Is done. Dale's going to give it a quick wash. I'm going to speak to Romain to see what the Supra made. Fortunately, Chris is out, so I'm going to just take over for a little bit on this. But yeah, Supra is going to get a quick courtesy wash and then the customer is going to collect it. Next car before I speak to Romain is Ollie's. He wants a little bit more power. Jimmy's just putting it on the Pro Hub Dino for Romain. I believe we're trying to aim about 15.50 at the hubs, that's his target, what he wants, so let's see what it makes. So I can't find Remain with a Supra made 675.9 horsepower at the hubs. Pretty consistent. Obviously, we don't often use the Pro Hub Dyno, but we're being rear wheel drive and big power, and we've got a couple of big cars on. We decided to utilize the Pro Hub for this Supra. But now, 
We're going to focus on Ollie's car, who remains there now. Yeah. And Ollie's car is on the dyno, ready for Romain to do some tweaks on ethanol. Jimmy's just doing the final checks. And then we're ready to go. <laughs> check what sort of power this made. So that pull there was 1,592 at the hubs and almost 1,100 foot pounds of torque. I did see a run before that remained in, it was over 1,600 but obviously I think that's where we're going to keep it, just below 1,600. Um, I think it was 1,611 but yeah so the car is a 1,600 wheel horsepower car or hope horsepower however you want to call it but that is amazing power i think remain will be happy with that let's just go and uh, see remain hi remain hello so I, i was just having a look at you doing some runs there um i noticed it was 1600 and now it's just under 1600 so it looks like it's got consistently an easy high 1500 yeah, well, did you give the torque below 1100? Yeah. Um, so it's very flat now. Are you happy with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. very happy with it. Good. So, yeah. yeah, we'll let Romain crack on and it's time for Tango next. So, we've got this car just come in at GM. There's a local guy called Ethan. It came to us on Saturday. Um, there's an issue with the car. It's just been fully built for the body kit, Liberty Walks. So, we're just going to see what the issue is on this car. So, I've got Kyle and Jimmy. Giving it a quick check and see what is going on. So don't let them know. Right guys, back in the office, uh, busy day to day, getting car sorted, we've got Mr. Hamid sitting there, happy with the results? He's never happy with the results, but I'm sure he is, but anyway, he's made over 1800 wheel very easily, um, the car's got a lot left, got Max in as well today. Hi Max, you alright? He's just picking up from school, remains here, Jimmy and Chris just discussing some jobs that what we're doing, we might take the Lambo for a little spin around the block for some drivability. Well, Hamid, have you got two minutes? Yeah. So, 1,830 wheel horsepower. Yes. What do you think? Happy with that? Yeah, of course. When you get to set the pod, it's yeah. what you need to do. To That's without NOS as well. Without so, NOS, so far. Yeah. Uh, 3.2 bar, I think it was. Exhaust is still on, guys, as well. The exhaust is still on. And filters. And filters and a lot, so it's a full street setup. Um, obviously, when we map here, we don't map right at the edge, so it's... It's got no torque, basically. It's close, but, you know. There's no point. I reckon the car will probably do, like, 185 terminal. A glad NOS may hit 190. But we're going to have to enough. see. We'll see at Santa Pod because we are going soon. We've booked it, haven't we? We have. There's a GM day is booked April. pod. So if you're a GM customer and you want to go to a private Santa Pod day, hit me up and I'll let you know the dates. Make sure you tell them there is um, two different lanes. One is prepped and one is not prepped. Yeah. So you can run your street tyres and stuff like that on one lane. And you can have your slicks on the other lane. No, All right. right. Yep. So plans for Tango now is um, when we get on the ramp, we're going to try and 
install the bumper and work around the drive some system and then it's off for some PPF and then Hamid will be collected soon. Easy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers Hamid. And Max, how have you been doing your homework with all that noise that Hamid's been doing? Yeah. Not sure, but he's been managing. So for now, that is it. Right, so Hamid's turned up now. Better late than never. I know, I'm here um, eventually. And what I'm about to do, I'm about to send the... We're going to send Tango. Send, send Tango to see what it does. Yeah, so that's it. Um, yeah. It's doing well so far, minute. isn't it? Very well so far. Yeah, so One last run, push it, see what happens. Yeah. Famous, famous last famous words. Famous last words. Hopefully not. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you soon. What happens right yeah. when when you listen to Chris yeah. and you push uh, a car more than you're comfortable with? Isn't that yeah. right, Chris? I, I think the viewers are getting the, the, the sort of smell of something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It, it, does, yeah, it does smell a bit fishy on here, to be fair. Like, yeah. but um, it was only clutch slip, so it's okay. Well, yeah, so far so good. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do one last run. How was your nerves when that went? It, it basically, well, it's, it's hit a, the car's hit a cut. <laughs> it's you know, it's, it's, it's yeah, a it's, it's quite a detection it's, system. It's yeah, like an so. instant like shut off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could be anything, literally from well, fuel pressure or whatever. All to, sorts. Yeah, to all anything, sorts of anything. different trips. Yeah. Um, so what did you think when that happened? Did you shit yourself? A little bit. Excuse the language. No, I'm not gonna lie. Just, yeah. just, a, just a tiny bit. Um, okay. A little bit of poo did come out. <laughs> um, but uh, hopefully it's okay and we can yeah. do one more run. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll find yeah. out. Let's see. So there we go. Max and an 1800 horsepower Lambo to finish the day. Right, we're in the office. We're just waiting for Max to be picked up. He's had a good day at GM, haven't you? No? Extracurricular activities. You've been getting, the teacher's been teaching you, hasn't you? Never mind. So, Hamid's car, um, we did 1822 wheel horsepower, and Hamid wanted to do an extra run, because he came late. We did an extra run, and I believe something happened to the gearbox, Jimmy. Yeah, the gearbox cried enough. Um, don't know exactly what's wrong. Uh, there's no oil on the floor. So certainly whatever happens internal to it. Uh, the engine runs fine. We've got oil pressure in the gearbox, which shows the props intact, the clutch is there, the oil pump's there, the valve body, we can select all of the gears. We've just got no drive. So we suspect possibly a final drive problem or a rear diff problem. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll know once it gets up and comes apart. Uh, obviously it's had a whole season of racing plus a whole season of street driving. Um, at, you know, 2,000 horsepower as it previously was and that's, it's taken a beating. Yeah. Uh, but until we, we know, you know, we, we don't know. So Could even be a clutch tower as well, who knows. But it is, that gearbox isn't rated for 2,000 horsepower. Um, so, you know, they're, they're rated for like 16, 1,700. Yeah. Um, you can get away with it for a while, but um, let's see what tomorrow brings and what we'll find. Kyle's going to get on the ramps, have a quick look, just because if we need something, thanks Max, <laughs> just because if we need some parts, we need to order them. So, for now, Max, what do we say? Goodbye, everyone. So, that is all for today, guys. I hope you like the videos we're doing. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, share, comment, good, bad, okay? <laughs>